Das ist... <lacht> oh my God, it is. He looks different, but yes. Hey patrons, hey friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Better Call Saul and we are on season four, episode three. This one is called Something Beautiful. So, uh, if you haven't watched last episode with me, go ahead, click right up here, my friend. Watch that one and then come back and watch this one with me. Uh, I am so excited, so, so excited to get into this episode. Last episode, <laughs> last episode, the ending was crazy. And uh, I'm worried. I'm worried for Nacho. That's all I'll say. So yeah, if you need a free refresh, go watch the last video. Come back here. Let's get started. I'm so excited. Uh, grab your drinks, everybody. I got my coffee ready to go. Also got my water, just in case. Um, but grab your stuff. Grab your snacks, if you are going to eat some snacks. And um, let's do this. Cheers. And if you hear any madness in the background, cats, like always. All right, what are we doing here? Setting up a tire. That looks like nacho. Setting up a tire, uh, what do you call it? The hell is it called? What is he doing? Well, that worked. I don't think that's Nacho, though. Yeah, that's okay. The other dude who works for Gus. I always forget his name. Okay. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh, there's Nacho. What are they doing? Oh, that's the guy. That's the guy they killed. Okay. Interesting. What the fuck? Ow. Ah, okay. Yeah, they gotta make it look like he was in the car. I get it. I'm curious though why they're doing all this instead of just getting rid of his body. Can I make the call now? Two? Okay, don't kill him. Gotta make it look real. <laughs> yeah, but you might kill him in the process. Do it quick before you pass out. Anyway, I'm curious why they're doing all this instead of just disposing of his body. I mean, they could have disposed of his body and nobody would have found it, so interesting uh i guess they're setting you know they're setting something up yeah what if i told you you could turn this piece of crap into four grand for each of us <laughs> freaking jimmy he has a cousin called bavarian boy that one is worth a boatload and i gather you know where to find uh -huh. Bavarian boy. i do indeed now, this place I'm talking about, they're not exactly what you call security conscious. There's no cameras whatsoever. And there's no serial number. These things are practically untraceable. I knew he was going to have Mike steal that thing. 
Let's do something oh, beautiful, beautiful here. Something beautiful. Pass. What? Why? It's not for me. And I don't think it should be for you either. Mm. Yes, hello. I was wondering if Dr. Caldera had any openings today. As <sighs> soon as possible, I have a very sick fish. Oh boy. The cousins. The flippity flippin' cousins. Are they going to get Nacho? Why do they want to piss off the cousins? Because this is going to piss off the cousins. You know? Where's Nacho? Is he laying out there still? Yep. Oh God, I thought he was dead for a minute. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, that scared me. Guinness. Uh, uh, God, can they take him to a hospital? Probably not, right? Uh, poor Nacho, dude. Fuck. Kevin, it's good to see you. I heard you were here. Just want to say hi. Look at uh, you, baby bird with a broken uh, wing. Listen, Kim, I just want to say how sorry I am about Charles McGill. Yeah. No one should go. Agree. Like How's James doing? Oh, he's, <sighs> he's getting through it. In denial, not feeling anything. <laughs> Kim, you have got to see the models. The models? The models? <laughs> That's what I said. What models? This is uh, Salt Lake City? After Provo, huh. why not? Now these two, you already know. This one's gonna be Ogden, Utah. And this one here is Tucumcari. Sedona, Pueblo, Colorado. And you know what? That's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, growing up in New Mexico, and Arizona's literally right next to us, I have never been to Sedona. I've been to Phoenix, been to Tucson, been to many bit many places in arizona but yeah that's one place i still need to go sedona a bench or two on the outside kim is there something wrong no 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 it's a lot it's a very fast aggressive expansion. yeah we're really building something here all your hard work is making a difference also have never seen the grand canyon but we are fixing that this summer. Road trip. Is she thinking about Texas, the Texas guy? What is Jimmy doing? He didn't say. Well, yeah, he's not into it. He's not into it or you're not into it. Give me that. Hey, this is the interested party. I have one question for you. Do you <laughs> ship gold? Because unless you currently have a large gold nugget traversing your colon, this is the easiest money you're ever going to make. Who is it? Oh, is it? Um, um, oh, my God. Hey, half an hour. Huey or whatever his name is. He will. See, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. <laughs> but do it better. Uh the cousins. This is not good. Can I help you? Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. oh, they're gonna get him help. Okay. Not here. Let me go grab my bag and tell my staff. Yeah, because I was like, he. I was thinking he needs to go to a hospital, but they can't really take him to a hospital. So, I guess that makes sense. Poor Nacho. Oh, I feel so bad for Nacho, you guys. 
I don't understand why they had to do that to Nacho. Careful! Careful! Oh, God. Poor guy. <sighs> Just because he wanted to protect his dad. <sighs> oh, he's giving him blood? Interesting. You woke up. That means my spouse is good enough. <laughs> And your Brenner over here is actually yeah. negative. I had to leave a bullet in your shoulder. Might set off metal detectors from now on. Oh, man. A now, sniff test says you probably didn't perforate your bowel. Probably. Now, if this starts to leak, you're going to get the worst infection of your life. It's going to hurt like hell. And then you're going to die. To go see a doctor that has some imaging tech... In other words, one that's not working out of the back of the jiffy. Uh, right. Now understand this. After I walk out of here, I never want to see you again. This cartel shit uh, is too hot for me. You got it? Oh, boy. Who is this? It's not Huel, is it? No, it's way too small to be Huel. I don't know who that is. He sleeps there? Oh no, he's gonna get caught. Shit. He's gonna have to wait till he falls asleep again. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Oh my God. It's me. Can we talk, please? I I just want to come home. Yeah, please go home. Go home. You're saying I'm a, I'm a thoughtless, that I don't care. But it is a very, very expensive vacuum. <laughs> so what you're saying is <sighs> I got to sleep in my office because I got uh, you a gift. Hey, I like a good vacuum. My melee, I think that's what it's called. It's nice. Hello. Are you still <laughs> Poor guy. He's like, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Help, I'm stuck. Listen, listen. Look, the office guy, he's here. What? Come get me or... Come get me. How is Jimmy going to get out of this? He's going to have to distract that guy somehow. I don't know. Uh huh? Uh huh? Go check. Go check, dude. Go check your car. Okay. Okay, slip out. There you go. Somehow. I don't know how. Shit. He can't get out. There's no other way out of that building? Jimmy, what are you going to do? Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh no! Okay, I guess that works. Oh god. Okay, hurry up, dude. Hurry up! <laughs> hurry up! <laughs> oh my god. What a pain. Hey! Hey, so did you get it? Shit and gold. <laughs> What was that? I was thinking, oh, he should do it. <laughs> yes. Chicago. The Salamancas were hit. Sun. Yesterday on the way back something. from the pickup. Whatever that was called. Varga survived barely, but he couldn't see faces. We are about to run another shipment. If you think we're compromised, run dummy loads. Hmm. I'll take care of it. What is Gus doing? What's his plan? Find a local supplier on your side of the border. Cut a deal. Let me worry about Eladio. Do it now. Oh, that was his plan all along? Where? <laughs> Is he at the high school? Where is he? Chemistry lab. <gasps> Is this Gale? Are you kidding me? Is this Gale? Oh, uh, Mr. Frith, I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> oh my God, it is. He looks different, but yes. Oh my God. Okay. You know when you put salt into water, it dissolves? If you stir the water or heat it, you can add more salt than you could otherwise this before it falls out of This is crazy. I was not expecting to see Gale at all. At all. Oh, I tested your samples. As soon as I saw chemistry lab, I was like, wait, no, it's not Walter, right? They range from 39% to 58% pure, except this one, which hovers around 67. That's not very good. Well, I guess, I don't know. Because wasn't um, Walter's like 90 something percent? Like it was really high. I don't want to cast aspersions, but I have to tell you, these samples aren't great. Exactly. Pretty bad. They're not even <laughs> Basically, they're direct. I could do much better. Oh, uh, I feel so bad for Gail. I'm certain that you wouldn't. But I'm afraid I can't allow it. Mm, he's working on it. You were meant for better things. He's working on it. Poor Gail, man. He uh, did not deserve what happened to him. <laughs> That was so cool to see him, though. Wasn't expecting that at all. Kim, what are you thinking? Jimmy, there's just a couple of things from talking to Howard that maybe we ought to go through. Like? Oh, the letter. It's from Chuck. Nobody knows for sure what's in it. You don't have to open it right now, but... Let's see what the old boy has to say. Uh, you want to hear this, right? Mm. Yeah. If it's okay. Not very long. <clears throat> Dear Jimmy, I have left many things unsaid in our relationship through the years. I remember quite clearly the day you came home from the hospital. You can't imagine the joy on mom's face. You brought a shine to her life that nothing else ever did, and I'm glad of that. Nothing will ever change the fact that we are brothers, flesh and blood. And though we are very different people, I want you to know how much I respect what you have made of yourself in these last few years. Family, for all the problems in your past, I'm proud we share the name mm -hmm. McGill. I sincerely admire your energy and resilience. I used to worry about you finding a place in the world, but I'm not worried about that anymore. 
when you read this, you remember me not only as your brother, but as a person you knew was always in your corner. He signed it just Chuck. Well, Sorry. Hey. No, I didn't, I didn't mean to make it. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's a nice letter. Just give me, just give me a minute. See, Kim's feeling it, but Jimmy's, he's still just shut off from feeling it. Oh, that was the end. Shit. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to be the end. All right, friends. That was the end of that episode. Another really good episode, like always. Okay, Nacho. I guess I understand now why they did all that. They want... I think Gus is trying to get it so that, um, or trying to make it so that what happened, like they want him to find a dealer in Albuquerque or just a local dealer, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's what I got from that conversation. It just sucks that Nacho had to uh, go through all of that in order for that process to start happening. I feel, I feel horrible for Nacho. I feel so bad for him. It's like all he wanted to do was protect his father <laughs> and he's paying for it because Gus knows everything and now he's paying for protecting his father. So <sighs> poor guy, man. I'm really worried about him. He did not look good. And the, the vet said, like, you need to go to a hospital, but I don't think the cousins are going to allow that. Or Gus. I don't think he's really going to be allowed to go to a hospital. So, um, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I really hope he pulls through. I think he will. I think he will. But I'm, I'm, I'm worried about Nacho. For sure. Definitely worried about Nacho. The letter from Chuck. It was a very nice letter. It just kind of, depending on when he wrote it, like I'm assuming he wrote it before his suicide. Um, it just goes to confirm my thoughts in the last episode, I think it was. Or was it? No, not the last episode. Episode 10 of season three. The season three finale. I think I said that um, there's a possibility that Chuck said, he said to Jimmy about never really caring for him much was just a ploy. Uh, I think, I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong, but um, I don't think he actually meant that um, at all. So I don't know. I think, I still think Jimmy's just not feeling it, you know? I don't think he's feeling what he will be feeling eventually when it comes to Chuck's death. I think it's going to maybe hit him later on in the season. Um, I don't know when, but some people, they just grieve like that. I don't know. They're fine for a while, or fine for a while, right? And then all of a sudden everything just overloads on them and they just fall apart. It just hits them, uh, the reality of the situation. So um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Very good episode. Uh, I think that's all my thoughts for this one. Hoping Nacho pulls, pulls through. Hoping he pulls through. I love Nacho. So fingers crossed. Um, oh, and freaking Gail. Gail. How could I forget about Gail? Oh my God. That was awesome. Freaking Gail. Uh, I, he was one person I was not expecting to see at all, at all. So now we have, okay. So, so far we have seen Mike, Gus, um, all of Gus's people that work for him, the cousins, Hector, now Gail. Am I missing anybody? I know I said a while back that maybe there's a possibility we'll, we will see Hank. 
because of the DEA stuff. I don't know, maybe? I think that would be cool. But yeah, I just, as soon as I saw chemistry lab, I was like, wait. <laughs> This isn't Walt, it didn't look like Walt's school, but I was like, wait, chemistry lab, what? My immediate thought was Walter, um, but then I heard Gail saying it, I'm like, that's fucking Gail. Uh, man, I really liked Gail. I was, I was upset when what happened to him happened to him. Anyway, all right, that is it. I'll leave you with those thoughts. Let me know below what you thought of the episode. Um, and let me know why you think. Maybe, if you, if, if you can tell me without giving spoilers, why you think they did all that to Nacho and set everything up. Is it to do the, is it to start doing the drugs locally, like I'm thinking? Um, and let me know what you think of uh, Gail's appearance. That was so cool. All right, anyway. I will see you on the next video, my friends. Have an awesome day or night whenever you're watching this. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends.